I'm just going to make a quick tutorial on how to make uh, objects form, uh, go like, start at one object and then like form into another. And this is just going to be a quick idea of how to, this is actually a, a request from, uh, is it Chris Reds? Let me check my email. Uh, oh, oh. Chris Rudds, Chris Rudds. Um, all right, so I'm gonna uh, position over a surface. So I need uh, uh shit. Uh, node uh, surface position, and then I'm just gonna uh, position born. Kick that over the make a group. And we'll just call this uh, particles. Uh, there's the node. We'll select. So we'll just go left from right. Select that particle, that object. Um, and then we have this. We'll put them into the group. And then we will pistol shot like a good amount. Thank you. Uh, 600 into existence dots so there we go and I'm just gonna up the life to 300 and I'm gonna kill the speed so what I want to do is I want to do a path follow uh, so let's just take the particles, and then we will make a. So this is this is kind of um, operators dynamics path follow particle. And we will pick this, and we'll go uh, relative. So let's see how this does. That does nothing. So. Uh, actually, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Um, so, I kind of got to, like, uh, figure this out. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's see. I think I just have to do the speed there. Oh, there they go. Yeah. Um, but that's relative, so I'm going to have to go absolute. Oh, that's not going to work. Damn it. Alright. So, sorry. I'm going to skip that path follow until I know how to uh, use that thing better. Um, so the main point is we just want to bring to... This is this is the uh, main thing. Of the so it's the same idea. Um, under node. And we want to pick the other object and then get surface position and volume the same thing works uh, surface and volume position it's the same idea so you could replace these and just have a go at it so there we go um, then we want to use a dynamics and then a bring to see I wanted to use the uh, uh, where is it bring to particle up particle through there give it the position and 30 frames, it should go from kind of like that. Um, so what you want to do is you want to make a, you want to make a group go to. What we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go go to. to uh, group switch and I have a black box here of basic uh, where's in mesh this will do um, but instead I'm going to just replace that with that 
now I have this. Uh, I'm going to put on particles because I'm going to test. So this is going to do if, if they're in a mesh, then they're going to go to they're going to trigger into the next event and they're going to just go. So this is the I'm using the pick node right here. So on the node, I'm selecting box one, and then I'm going to animate this box going through there. And then you got that. And you got go to. So it would be cooler if they'd follow along the path, but, um, you know, you could just, like, do some wind on them, I think. I think this, uh, evaluated frames, evaluated relative, tells you how far it is to go to that position. Um, if not, you could just build um, a curve to the distance of these positions. This one. And uh, that one. And then you can do some funky stuff. Maybe I'll do that in part two video. This is, uh, I guess, just the part one. Quick on how to bring particles to another surface. So, Alright, cool. Thanks for watching. And stop. Stop. No.